Well, I'll just start here with uh, so far with this progress. Someone would tell you about a couple of months ago that you'd be seven four and two. Uh, how satisfied would you be? Well, I don't think it's you know it's uh, just about working through every day of the process, you know, and showing up and doing doing our work and. Um, you know, I said to start the year, we wanted to make sure that we were ready to compete every day to, to win hockey games. Um, you know, we for the most part we've been that. We let a couple slip away early, uh, but uh, you know, but we've uh, we've been in the fight every single night. Uh, we're finding ways to win, especially uh, you know over the last couple of weeks here, and you know we need to see the continuation of that. And that's what today was. Today was just a good work day, and uh, you know get ourselves ready for uh, for a. You know, we got a short run here at home, and we got to take advantage of uh, that beginning tomorrow. Good seeing Jared McCann back out there. How close do you feel that he's uh, game ready now? He's day to day. Yeah, he's day to day still with lower body. <clears throat> Have you been able to keep your lines, especially all your lines, defense pairings and forward lines together for the most part this season? How much of an advantage is that when you can those guys can start to build that chemistry? Yeah, we've we've kept, you know, Wenny's line has stayed, you know, pretty pretty consistent all the way through. Uh, we've been able to leave Maddie's, you know, fairly consistent as well. There's been a little bit of change, you know, to the other two lines, um, but you know that's that's based off of several different factors. So uh, there's, you know, we've been able to have some consistency there. That's been important. That it, uh, it allows some of the chemistry to grow, not only amongst, you know, that you know that group of three, but also just in terms of their roles within a hockey game. Um, you know, and, and again, that's you know that that can change on a nightly basis depending on the situation. But um, you know, for me, that's been one of our strengths is having guys from different areas of the roster step up, contribute, step into different roles uh, throughout uh, throughout a 60-minute hockey game. So uh, you know, the the consistency has has been a positive factor, but also. You know, some of that flexibility in game has uh, has been effective as, as well for uh, for our group. Hey Dave, can you walk us through what you and the coaches do when you make a switch in the game? How that how that operates? How that works? It's based off of what we see in the game, what we see from individual uh, players. Uh, it may depend on you know the opposition and the matchups. There's a lot of different factors at play. Dave, when you talk about the Wenberg line, what is the common role for that line? Is there one? Well, they've, I mean, they've drawn some tough matchups, but I mean, that's, you know, Wayne's line is, uh, you know, they've got to be good in a, in a two-way sense, um, but they're also a group that we rely on to, to provide offense. So, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's been different stretches where we feel offensively, you know, they've been very effective and they've been working hard at that, uh, you know, in terms of the way they're going to produce offense. And, uh, you know, these are three smart, intelligent guys. They, you know, so they work at their game. They look at it, uh, you know, away from practice, away from games, and you know, I think that's, you know, been uh, been a part of you know their chemistry growing. Are there things that make those three players work together so well, be it their skill set or how they think the game? I don't know. I mean, there's you know sometimes uh, it's it's skill set, sometimes it's personality, um, you know, but for the most part, it's just you know how how the group meshes and fits on the ice. So. You know, that's there's nothing cemented in stone there for 80 games, but they, you know they've been a good you know a good group for us. They've worked hard. Uh, they've you know they've been in difference. You know, there's been a you know a couple of nights here down down the stretch where you know when he's been the guy in the faceoff dot for us and he's done a heck of a job. Um, you know, right down to the last faceoff a couple of nights ago in Pittsburgh. I mean, with a few seconds left, it's you know it's a you know it's an important D zone faceoff. So. You know, again, it comes down to you know the responsibility of the centerman to to be the leader of each line, and you know when he's done a nice job with uh, you know along obviously with with two good veterans that he has with him. With the way the schedule has been here to start, you haven't had a lot of full practice days like today. How important does that make a day like today for your team? Well, you know, days like today are, are important for execution. Um, you know, getting uh, you know getting touches with with pace and pressure. Um, you know, in a, in a practice setting. So, if, you know, in, in my opinion, those are that is the biggest thing on days today. It's execution with the puck. You know, I talk about that night in, night out. Um, you know how important that is. That's that your play with the puck really, you know, dictates you know, the rest of your game. How much you're in possession of the puck, um, how often you're trying to work to get it back, and how much effort you're spending getting it back because you haven't been efficient with it. So. Uh, practice days are really important for those puck touches, especially. 
What, what stood out to you about the way Martin has played the last couple of weeks in that for you? It's been, you know, for me, Jonesy has been right from day one of camp. It hasn't been anything to do with the last couple of weeks. You know, I think there's one game, uh, you know, in the mix here where, you know, if you asked him about it, he'd say, hey, I'd, you know, I'd like to have, you know, been a little bit better. Um, so for me, it's his consistency. Um, you know, he's a real, he, he's a calm presence out there. You know, he's, he's a big goaltender, so he's not overactive. Um, but ultimately, you know, he has, you know, he's had that calming presence. Uh, for our group, um, in, you know, in, in some of the wins of, of late, it's been about that timely big save, and he's provided that for us. Uh, you know, making making all the the saves you're supposed to, but the timely big save, uh, you know, has been there for him, and, and that's provided a lot to our group. To this point, um, what would you say is one of Shane Wright's better or best efforts? I don't really look at it that way. Um, you know, I know you guys want. You know something pinpoint. I look at Shane's. You know, uh, I look at his work every day, and everybody focuses on his uh, on his game performance or his game action. Uh, that's only part of it for me. And, you know, you know, I watch. You know, the way uh, he's working off the ice, on the ice, in practice, and during games. So, um, you know, um, showing progress isn't easy. There's going to be you're gonna, some days you're going to advance, some days you're going to get pushed back a little bit. It's always about how you come back the next day. So if you want to know, you know, a lot of the things that I look for in Shane, uh, and, and, and really every player, is you know how you react uh, to either small failures or small successes. What's your work look like the next day? Um, I won't give you you know the evaluation from the other night, but I'll tell you, you know, I thought Shane's. Uh, Work was really good today. What's the greatest advantage of being home now for 19 days and six home games? Well, I don't know if there's one necessarily thing. I mean, it's it's a different rhythm, so we've got to adjust to that rhythm. It's really important for us to, to be you know to be uh, uh, ready to take advantage of you know of home games. We've proven uh, we can go out and win on the road, and we've done a good job of that. We've won some big games here recently at home. Uh, now we've got to be excited for that opportunity and, and take advantage of. Uh, change the rhythm a little bit, but take advantage of that. The games like the one in Calgary and Pittsburgh the other night, to, to win grimy games like that, yeah. how, how big of a, a, a factor can that be for you guys? Uh, it's, you know what, it, it just allows the group to grow. I mean, builds a little, builds a little of that chemistry and a little of that attitude. Um, you know, so it's all the little things within, you know, those types of games that help you way, you know, help you find a way to win. Um, you know that uh, uh, you know that that has a way of being you know pretty uh, you know pretty successful building block inside of the dressing room. Good. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave.